Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a short video on some new products that I used um, on a card that's on my blog today. Um, some really fun products. Susanna's Custom Art and Card Design is carrying them. You may have heard of them before. Um, they are called Dreamweaver and they are embossing paste, um, mica powders and paints that you can buy. They also have brass stencils. Um, really fun product and I'm going to show you how I did this card that's on my blog um, and I did the zebra print. When you use this paste, and I actually use the translucent so when it dries, it dries clear, um, it, it's raised up so there's a little bit of texture there um, and you can do different techniques on it. From this one when I put the translucent paste on before it dried I sprinkled um, different kinds of Martha Stewart glitter on it. So I'm going to show you how I did that. This is a stencil that Susanna Store also carries. They're by Crafters Workshop. Really nice stencils, um, different patterns, and these particular ones are 6x6, six six, so they're great for card makers. They come in different sizes. Of course, you can use your own stencils um, or different stencils you have on hand and get the same kind of effect. Um, if you know me, you know Zebra Print is one of my absolute favorites. I already cut my paper. Um, this is 5 and a half by 5 and a half. So it's a little smaller than the stencil. And what I do when I'm doing this technique is I just tape it. If you're going to tape right on the paper that you're using and you don't want it to tear, use something like an Eclipse tape. Um, it's a low tack tape so it won't rip your paper when you lift it off. Um, I'm taping on my scrap paper so I'm not worried about it. I'll just be able to lift it up. Um, you can get this in a white, a translucent paste in a black paste. It just depends on your needs, what they might be. Um, I'm going to use a translucent, which is, which is the same one. I'm going to use the translucent paste um, like I did on my card to show you. And uh, I just kind of glop it on here, drop it on here, and then I spread it. And it's just like if you've ever iced a cake or um, cupcakes, um, any kind of frosting like that. You want to get a good, nice, even coat. I'm not going to do this whole thing for you because you don't want to see me wiping paste all over. And I just spread it all the way out. And then what I do, and I use a metal, this is a metal uh, paint spatula that I got um, online. Dreamweaver sells one, but you can pick them up at any craft store. Michael's um, AC Moore carries them. Um, the metal is good because the pastes are easy to get off of it um, rather than a plastic palette knife if you have one, but you can use that also. The cool thing about this is if you're lazy like me or you get sidetracked is if this dries on here you can just peel it off. So easy peasy. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trimming down the coat of paste. Now you can um, keep it as thick as you want. I wanted a thinner coat and just go over it a couple times until it's smooth how you want it. And then what I did while it was still wet and the stencil was still down is this is Martha Stewart tinsel glitter and some blues and silvers and then I have a Martha Stewart um, crystal glitter that you can use. Of course you can use any color you want but while it's still wet what I did was just shook on some of the glitter and then I went in and filled in with the clear. And you know, you can add as much or as little as you like, but since it's wet, the glitter is going to stick really nice to it. And then you can come back in and add a little bit more color if you want. And then you just lift this up. You always hold the paper down a little bit. This is the tricky part where you don't want to mess up your stencil that you just did. And yes, glitter will go flying, so make sure that you have nothing that can be damaged around your workspace. And then what I do is I just flick the paper a few times to get it out of those spots that don't have the paste. Um, Dreamweaver says it dries in about an hour. I found that it dried a little quicker for me, but um, you might want to set it aside for a half hour to an hour. Um, and then when it's dry, you won't see any of this white paste. It will get translucent, just like it did here on my card. 
and then all you have behind is the stencil and the glitter. So really fun technique, really easy. Um, you can do other things with it while it's still wet. What's fun you can do with these stencils by Crafters Workshop, or again, stencils that you might create with your punch outs, um, or breast stamp stencils that you might have. There's so many fun ways to use them. Um, if you have a Copic airbrush system, whether you have um, this one that I have hooked up to my air can, or if you have it hooked up to a compressor, it doesn't matter. Um, you can create backgrounds, um, embellishments, and things using your airbrush right on the stencil. And then just take a baby wipe. As long as it has some alcohol in it, um, it will come right off of the stencil. Another thing you can do, a little rubber pouncer or makeup sponge, whatever you prefer to use, um, you can ink right onto it with your ink pad. So you can create a nice background that way too. Um, or if you have any paints, you know, there's endless possibilities. And I'm just going to show you real quick how to do this with the airbrush. If you've never used it before, one thing with the airbrush is that you want to use light stro short strokes back and forth. And you can go, you know, if you want it really dark, you can really spray it. Um, it just depends on the look that you're going for. And then when you, I just peel this right back, then you've got a nice pretty airbrush background. Um, of course you could do one scroll or whatever the design is on your cards, scrapbook pages, um, you know, anything that you're designing is a quick, fun way to get a pattern um, quickly um, instead of, you know, maybe painting. You can bust out a background really quick that way. And, you know, if you want to pounce on it and you want to add some color, and you can even go over where you airbrushed to add a little different color, more of a tie-dyed effect. Pounce on it like you would with a normal stencil. If you have stenciling brushes, on hand, you can also use those. Lift it up. You've got that design. So a couple quick ways that you can use um, these stencils with other products that you may have on hand. Another really fun technique that you can do with these um, stencils and Dreamweaver paste um, is color them. And Dreamweaver makes these metallic FX powders, and they're mica powders, so they're very fine. Here's one open. Um, you know, almost like talcum powder, fine. So you only need a little bit to do a lot. Um, a couple ways you can use these. You can actually take some of your paste, either translucent or the white, um, and mix it with powder. You can do that on a transparency, um, a little palette or a lid that you might have, and mix up your paste. Um, start with a little bit of the powder, a little goes a long way, um, and add more to get the color that you want. And then you can use your palette knife um, to spread the colored um, paste on top of your stencil. If you're doing something large, um, that's much easier to do it that way than to go in and individually paint. On this one, I had already used the white Dreamweaver paste on this. Uh, it's another Crafters Workshop stencil. And it's dried. And you can kind of see the sparkle that these uh, mica powders leave. They're really pretty, a uh, pearlescent color. Um, and I'm just painting it on. I use a semi-stiff brush I grab a little bit of powder and then you can just come in. You could use a stencil brush too for this. Um, you know, some people might even use their fingers to get in there. Um, and just come in and you, know, you can go over it as many times as you want. And then when you peel it off, you're left with a raised embossed stencil pattern, um, and then it's pearlescent, so it's got a little um, bit of shimmer in it. Really pretty. Um, these mica powders come in lots of different colors. Um, it's a small bottle, but because you use so little of it, they're going to last you a very long time. So another great thing to check out, and another way to use um, your stencils and create backgrounds. Um, and, you know, one of my favorite things to do on cards is really have a lot of texture and these paste will allow you to do that um, almost a reverse embossing look. So I hope you stop by Susanna's and uh, check out these products and you'll see me using lots more of these on my blog. Thanks for stopping by.